Shepard. Remember our agreement? We'd open a bottle of Cerise brandy every year, and it's my turn to buy. But it hasn't been a year yet. Yes, well, something tells me we won't have the chance a few months from now, so... indulge my impatience. You grab the glasses. I'll open the bottle. And Jeff says, Jack, Jacqueline, subject zero, is sorry, but it's man to me. I'd like to keep my Admiral Winky. Oh, Shepard. You know, I just realized. You've never called me by my first name. Well, neither have you. And I never will. You are Commander Shepard. Hero of the Citadel. Conqueror of the Collectors. Savior of the Galaxy. Using your first name just disrespects everyone you're fighting for. Alive or gone. <laughs> that makes no sense. Consider it a lady's prerogative, then. Come, let's have a toast. To a woman I'm proud to call my friend. I am lucky to have you with me, Karen. And to you, dear friend. It is my great honor to share this journey with you. Commander Shepard, and good fortune to us all. I've learned my lesson this time. Even a Krogan couldn't match you drink for drink. Hey, Shepard. Hey there. Hey there. Hey, Shepard. Nothing to report, Commander. All good, Commander. Commander? I saw many strange things in our war against the Reapers. An entire settlement of Densorian were once studying things far beyond their knowledge. Celestial mechanics, morphological simulations of galactic language. Things even we didn't understand. At the time, I thought they were crazy. But now, after what occurred on that asteroid, I wonder... I'm liking the new you, Esteban. It's about time you loosened up a little. <sighs> Not sure. How does it not? Gives you heart. You need heart to fight this kind of war. A heartburn, maybe. Seriously, could we at least get some decent tequila? Hey, you're the procurement specialist. Set us up.
The mining colony was completely brainwashed, and the Reapers retreat the moment the artifact is destroyed. I don't know what's going on, but I know I don't like it. That asteroid facility was messed up. Ten years of your life, just gone. You're working out there, sending letters to your family back home, and you wake up, and your hair's gone. Your kid's in college, and your six-pack has turned into a keg. It's just messed up. Have we heard from Agent DeTrace yet? She has not reported in for over eight hours, Doctor. She was stationed on Valchir when the Reapers invaded. I think we can assume what happened. Inform Agent Calamus he's now in charge of reporting Reaper activity past the Loas relay. My sources told me the production numbers were wrong at that mining facility. I assumed they were just smuggling red sand. I never took the time to look closer. Too much intel. Too many places for secrets to hide. I'm going to have to start sleeping less. Please, enjoy your day. Strange stuff back on that asteroid. We've seen indoctrination before, but 10 years. Leviathan had its own private army. You've got to wonder how much longer that would have lasted if we hadn't come along. Just when I thought we were getting a handle on Reapers, this happens. Maybe Leviathan's more than a bullseye. Commander? Commander, you've got a new message at your private terminal. Man, those Quarian admirals are intimidating. And if you get nervous, you can't even imagine them naked because, like, who knows? Is a tentacle monster under there? What is that? What's under there? Commander? Leviathan's mental restraints are odd. My AI shackles served similar purposes, but why add sensations of darkness or cold?